about the artwork, uh, we basically usually I we've we're a band that pretty much does do everything ourselves more or less. Uh, on the second album, I did like the artwork uh, on the. On the fourth album, the same in cooperation with our old guitar player and so on. But this time around, we wanted something completely different. Uh, so our, our bass player, our Italian bass player, Simone, came up with the idea of uh, using this guy called... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, he's, um, he's this guy who, who did the last Morbid Angel cover and uh, Black Dahlia Murder covers as well. And we really love his style uh, it, because it was so clean it was uh, more based in illustrator than Photoshop and um, we kind of we, we really didn't know what we wanted to begin with so we just told him make something that looks you know uh, classy simple uh, and clean and a bit futuristic but still draw some some parallels to some steampunk kind of styled cover uh, and uh, we went back and forth and um, we couldn't really come up with something so I think I found like a, an old Leibach uh, cover on the internet with uh, their logo in the middle and uh, like a circuit board around it and uh, from there on the whole idea kind of uh, blossomed I think uh, and we also went on Wikipedia I think and you know because we wanted something that had to do with uh, Greek mythology so we thought let's put the head of Medusa in there and create this demon kind of cover but that didn't quite work either and this this guy our artist he simply came up with the idea of uh, using the head of a baby and we thought that looked pretty evil uh, as being uh, the newcomer or whatever it's up to yourself to interpret that but um, yeah, the cover portrays the baby that comes out of a circuit board and it can be interpreted as you know new technology that takes over mankind uh, it's you know the usual sci-fi story um, of the world's end um, and it's basically the nemesis it's the um, the demon that will kill us all 